No prizes for guessing what that is. Hey everyone, and we finally got one. You know, it's been so hard to get a hold of a Mavic, especially here in the UK where they've been pretty much sold out by all the major retailers. So I'd like to firstly say thank you to a few people who've helped me manage to get one so that I can share my thoughts about this beautiful product with you. Now, I think this is probably the most revolutionary piece of tech to have come out in the last year. Uh, yeah, even more so than the MacBook Pro you see on the left or the iPhone you see on the right. You know, I think it just blows the competition out of the water. Why do I think that? Well, it's simple. It brings out the inner child in me. And not just me, I think it brings out the inner child in everyone. A lot of people have concerns about drones, you know, privacy, security, whether it's dangerous. But when you show them the Mavic Pro and you fly it with them, they just change their opinions. They forget about everything else and then they say, wow, this is amazing. And that feeling is just awesome, you know, to have that feeling. And I've had that myself and I have it every time I fly this drone and everyone else who's flown this drone as well. They all seem to forget about the concerns and just fly it and, and talk about how easy and beautiful it is to fly this drone. Now, it's built to perfection. You know, it can fly really high, it can go at up to 40 miles an hour, it has a 4,000 milliamp hour, approximately 4,000 milliamp hour battery. Uh, the, the controller is also built really well. It's sturdy and it has an inbuilt battery as well. So what they've done is they've kind of incremented a lot of things in their Phantom range and they've kind of got it together in the first generation of Mavic. And along with the drone and the controller, you get propellers, you get an extra pair, you get a gimbal clamp, you also get a micro SD card. Thank you DJI for putting that in there. A micro USB cable, some RC cables to connect your phone to the remote control. Now, this is just beautiful. This piece of kit is by far the best looking and the best feeling I don't know if that's the thing but it's just an amazing piece of work you know they've used metal and plastic to build this drone and the reasons are well it needs to be light so they've had to use all sorts of materials and make it sturdy and it really feels like that when you hold it in your hand it also has an amazing gimbal which has three axis stabilization and it, it can kind of roll and pitch from anywhere between 0 to 90 degrees horizontally and vertically. So that is awesome as well. The camera itself is a 12 megapixel camera which can take awesome photos and 4K videos. A lot of people complain about it only doing 24 frames per second 4K video. But for me, the fact that it does even a little bit of 4K footage is enough, you know? Just look at how tiny the thing is. <laughs> the, the way I describe this product is just pick up a phone, no matter what phone you have, even if you have a Nokia brick. And if you can hold that in your hand, you can most definitely hold the Mavic Pro in your hand. It's that tiny. I mean, you know, I'm not guaranteeing you can put it in your pocket. A lot of people have tried it succeeded maybe but it's not something that's going to go in your pocket but it is certainly something that you can hold in one hand and then you realize that this thing can fly really high really fast take photos and videos at the same time it's just incredible the remote control which lets you do this is also really responsive they've used metal to build the joysticks like they have with the previous generations and it works you know, it's really solid, it feels responsive, like it should, and, and it makes you feel more comfortable when you're flying the drone. And that is what it's all about. The setup process is really interesting. The first time 
you try and set everything up, it's probably going to take you at least half a day. And I really recommend that you go through the manual and you watch all the videos and you install all the firmware updates and you recalibrate the compass and you do all of that before you even think about taking this outside because if you haven't read the manual and halfway through a flight it comes up with a beeping sound and a warning and you don't know what that warning light is for or the symbol you're gonna be in a lot of trouble and it's an expensive piece of tech and you don't want to lose it so make sure you know what you're doing and reading the manual is the best way to do it. You're going to be excited about your first flight and so was I, but before that you need to look at the drone code. Now what is the drone code? Well it's pretty simple, there are five steps. The first one is to not fly near airports and airfields, which is you know pretty self-explanatory. Uh, so is staying below 120 meters because again the law and everything you need to follow that. Another one is make sure you're in line of sight with your drone. Don't lose it because it can cause trouble sometimes. And never fly near aircrafts. Why would you do that in the first place anyway? But once you've done all of that, you can enjoy the drone responsibly. And the setup time for this is less than two minutes. Take it out, put the propellers on, put it on the ground, and you're pretty much ready to go. And then you have some magic. Now, let me tell you how easy it is to fly this drone. It helps you take off, it helps you land, and it can bring itself back if it's a mile away and you've lost it. So it does so many things for you. It's got sensors in the front, it's got sensors at the bottom, so if you're about to crash into something, you'll know because the remote control will tell you you're about to crash or you're about to come up against an obstacle. And that's awesome, you know, they've done so many things to make your life easier to fly this drone. Anyone, and I mean anyone can fly this. And why do I say this? Because in less than 10 minutes of flying this drone, we were able to capture really great footage like you can see here and that is all because of the Mavic. You can see a little bit of a flare. Now this is happening because we had the lens cap on. The reason we had the lens cap on is because it was our first flight and I would recommend you do the same on your first, your second, your third flight but as you get more comfortable with it you should take it off because the footage will improve unless you know you're into J.J. Abrams and you want lens flare in every single film that you make. But that is your choice. For me, once I was comfortable, I took it off and the footage just looked absolutely amazing. And the more comfortable you get, the better it is going to look because you're going to be more comfortable in taking it further, flying it higher, you know, maneuvering it in any which way you like and it's just going to work. So, what do I think of the Mavic Pro? I don't know if you can tell, but I am totally in love with this. Uh, it's made me want to go out more, explore a little bit more of my local area, and also go out into different areas, because I want to see how, how it looks from the sky, and, and, and I have so many ideas, and this will help me fulfill all of them, or at least that's what I think. So I absolutely am in love with this. Uh, I would recommend if you're thinking of getting one, just do it because it is amazing. Personally, I'll be doing a lot more drone videos. I will be doing a review for this. I will also be doing some guides as to how to fly, where to fly, how to use the different modes. And, and, and if you want more of that, just give me a thumbs up and subscribe and let me know in the comments because I'd love to do that for every single one of you who's watching this. So I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one.